Hey, family. Good morning, guys. How is everyone doing? My goodness, what a beautiful Tuesday we have here in the nation's capital. I mean, the sky is crystal blue. We have a prevailing breeze. It is hot, but it is a beautiful day. How are you doing? Did you wake up with an attitude of gratitude? Have you set your goals before you today? Do you know where you're going? What are you expecting? I hope you have a great level of expectation because you know what? If you expect great things, great things will happen. Well, you're down into the Team Effort Lifestyle Call. This is your host, Patrick McDowell, with my business partner, two star Pastor Dr. Del Wafer. Family, the line is open. Introduce yourself. Where are you calling in from? Jesse Bowden, calling from Washington, D.C. Woo, woo, go ahead, Jesse Bowden, outside the Pentagon, I see. How are you? <laughs> Outstanding, Pastor Denise, and I'm expecting you to be one star by the end of September. Ooh, Jesse, come on, man. Let's get up. Jesse, let's get there before September 26th. Let's see if we can make I'm going to make it so, so you can walk across stage as a one star. I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> Let's do it, Jesse. Let's look at the numbers. Let's make it happen. That's right. Wow. It's done. It's done. That's, a, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's expecting something. You're expecting it to happen. Put it out there. Watch it come back to you. So, Jesse. <laughs> well, family, who else is with us this morning? Go right ahead and introduce yourself. Good morning, good morning, Pastor Denise. This is Kevin Vaughn down in Atlanta, Georgia. Good morning, Woo! people. How you doing today? Woo! I tell you, Pastor Denise, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm expected to be the top producer in the Southeast, the top retailer of ten in the Southeast, the top trainer in the Southeast. I'm excited about having the most customers in the Southeast in 10. We are also excited about doing the most TTPs in the Southeast. That's my expectation. Can't wait to have everybody get their expectations. Good morning to you. I'm excited. Woo, what a great call. Wow. Kevin, you put it out there, man. You put it Absolutely. out there. Absolutely. We're taking well, over. We're taking over, Sasha. That's how you do it. Wow, yes, that's how you do it. I love it. Great, 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 great vision, great goals. I'm agreeing with you on that, Kevin. It can and it will happen. Whoa. <laughs> that was time conviction, Kevin. Y'all hear that? Kevin didn't just say that Kevin meant that. That came from the depths of his heart. And I bet you it's going to come back to him. Good measure, press down, shaking together, and running over. Kevin, it's going to happen, man. I love it. I love yeah, it. You got that it. right. You got that right. Awesome. Pastor. Woo! Who else is out there this morning? What you doing? Introduce I yourself. I feel that same way. I feel like the same thing going to happen to me. I'm going to be Mr. Payday, the most paid. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> go ahead, Mr. Payday. I know Mr. Payday right now, family. He's waking up in retail. I'm telling y'all right now. Everywhere Mr. Payday go, I don't care whether it's a gas station or a Starbucks, he is selling somebody sprays. So retail, he is knocking it out the ball field. Yes, just to pay that. Yes, it will. We agree with you on that. Make it happen. Yes, indeed. Don't make it happen. Ooh. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You put it out there, it's going to happen. It's going to come back to you, man. Be ready for it. <laughs> Be I'm ready. ready for it. <laughs> I'm ready. Make sure so your back is kind of big enough to hold it. <laughs> Good morning, Pastor Denise. Big things yeah. will be happening in Fayetteville, North Carolina. We putting Fayetteville on the map, bringing Ooh. ten to North Carolina. Big things Ooh. will be happening in Fayetteville. Good morning, All right, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. That's Paul Jackson. Thank you, sir. You guys are here yes. there this weekend. Oh yeah. Yeah, big things will be happening in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Yes. All right, family. In North Carolina, Fairville, North Carolina, Paul Jackson, Jesse Dowden, Robert Smith, um, Beverly, Beverly Douglas, Cassandra is going to be there this weekend to make it happen. And they were there a couple of months ago, so the seed was already planted. The excitement is already in the air, and people are already waiting, anticipating them 
coming back. You might want to catch this glow of momentum that's getting ready to hit Centerville, North Carolina. So <clears throat> it's not too late to get aboard. Check out the you know, online um, event calendar and see where they're going to be located to be there and get your guests in the house and make them a part of this event. This weekend, is it Saturday, Saturday, Paul? Yes, ma'am. It is Saturday. <laughs> Chipdale Regional Library. Chipdale Regional Library. Yep. Okay. 882 Chipdale Road. There we go, family. I'm Joseph Emery. The conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. All participants are now unmuted. Another great day is just about to introduce itself. Who was that? Who was that, Don? Who? Don Joseph, Emeryville, California. Welcome to the most admired company in the world. <laughs> it is indeed, Don. It is indeed the most admired, the most talked about, the hottest product in 2014 and 2015. With more synergy and energy than any other company. Now, well, Don, you guys have some things going on this weekend in California, right? Yeah, we had a big event out at uh, Crab Cove in Alameda. Big uh, picnic out there. Got some awesome people. Uh, we were able to talk to a gentleman. He uh, used to be with Mr. Walter Hawkins for 11 years. He's coming on board. Wow. Wow. That's how we do it. <laughs> the conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. Family, folks are coming in town. They're coming in every day. I'm telling you, people who bring in networks of folks with them, and there's people lined up uh, just getting the information that they want to come in to be a part of this fast-growing family. And ten has been the most talked about, I think, in, the, in, our, in our little part of town for quite some while. The natural sprays, the healthy natural vitamin sprays. No longer do we have to take pills. So we can get healthy in a spray form. 98% absorption rate. You cannot beat that. Don't try to pop a pill, then it gets stuck in your throat, and then it gets stuck in your colon, too. Give her those pills and start spraying yourself uh, to a healthy life. It's, what is our logan this year? Uh, making great health convenient. Let's not forget that, family. Making great health convenient. Even the babies love it. Did you see the video Robert just posted on Team Method Network Facebook page? That even the babies are loving the sprays. Can the babies take the vitamin D? Of course they can. If they want pregnant moms to take it, of course they want babies to take them also. Even the babies are spraying up and putting a smile on their face. So we're doing a great thing here. It's a big family affair. Everyone in the entire world, everyone that has a body, everyone that you know that's surrounding you, that's in your field, even whether you know them or not, one thing they all want is to be healthy and they want to have energy. They want to feel good. They want to slow down the aging process, and they don't want to be sick. And we have something that we can offer to them to answer any any concerns that they may be having. Great place to be, family. I'm going to stop right here and bring on my business partner, Tucson, Dr. Pastor Del Wiff. Are you there, sir? Hey, hey, I'm here. I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. What's going on here in the town? Well, I tell you what, boy, the Paul them got it. Uh, they got it popping off, man. It's gonna be jumping off there in the Carolinas, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good deal, you know. They had a they had a great they had a great crowd, great turnout last time they were there, and uh, you know they're looking to have a better crowd this time. So uh, it's gonna be a wide, exciting time. So if you got folks in that Carolina area, you definitely want to get with Paul and Jesse and Beverly and them and. And uh, get those addresses, get your people there, let them know that they're coming so they can be expecting them and welcome, welcome them as VIPs. And, uh, you know, let them, let them serve you. Uh, if you can't make it, you, your people get in there, you let them serve you and help you with, with recruiting and sponsoring your people. You know, teamwork makes the dream work. So we're really excited about what they're getting ready to do down there in the Carolinas. And, uh, hey, you know, we're excited about what's happening here as well. And, uh, you know, we got a great leader on today, so I'm looking forward to hearing what she has for us. Well, who's our great leader for the day, Pastor Dale? Who's our great leader for the day? 
Well, you know, we always got to we always got to go to Kentucky on Tuesday to get that uh, one star two car Vicky Soto. So uh, we're looking forward to having uh, one star uh, one star two car give us some wisdom and some excitement and uh, let us know you know what's what's on her plate today. Vicky, are you with us? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Ah, uh, we hear you. That's real excitement there. I'm telling you, I'm so excited. The team got on there, started claiming areas. I'm going to claim the Midwest. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> you claimed that some time ago, Vicki. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's telling what, you, I'm, I'm, the Midwest is growing. I'm excited, you guys. I am so excited, you know, I, Hearing uh, Paul and Jesse and Robert talking, I mean, they're, they're all awesome. I'm telling everybody, you need to be at the event in September to meet these gentlemen because I'm going to tell you, and Don, oh, I was, we're talking full house. They're a bunch of kings. It's like having a, having a, a, a hand of kings in a poker game, okay? They are awesome. Wow. So, I, I really, 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 really recommend that everybody come and meet them in person because they have really uplifted the whole team, and I'm so excited. And they prove it when they get on the phone, don't they? Yes, they do. They, they are they not They prove it. <laughs> so they, 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 they mean what they say, and they say what they mean. And Kevin Vaughn, my my tall brother Kevin Vaughn, I just love you, Kevin. And I mean, Kevin fires up everybody. I mean, he's got so much energy; it just spreads across the United States. Okay, I mean, <laughs> they feel it all the way in Arizona. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm excited. But you guys, I've got something really. Uh, first of all, I got to tell you this. I got to tell you a quick story about what happened to me the last few days. It's been kind of crazy, but. You know, I always say that, you know, life sometimes, life is just like a roller coaster. It's up and down. You have your good days. You have your bad days. And really, it's all a matter of how you react to things, right? You know, sometimes you have to take a moment and just sit back and say, okay, this is happening. And that's interesting, but, you know, I got to get on with my life. But let me tell you guys, I had an experience last week that, you know, it just really took me out. You guys know, I wasn't even here Tuesday. But, you know, and things kept going because Murphy's Law, it always, and I mean, something's always going on. If you're expecting to have peace and calm in your life, you will be thoroughly disappointed because that's just not how life goes. So I know that every once in a while in your life, in my life, especially in my life, <laughs> Things happen, and it just keeps mounting and mounting and mounting. And so you start thinking, okay, am I going to get this done? Am I going to get this done? Am I going to get this done? Well, my week went really, really crazy. I mean, it just went off the charts last week. And a lot of things got missed. I mean, I missed my call. I missed, you know, things that I had to do during the week. Uh, the only thing I really made it to the whole week, and I'm so glad, was the 10 tasting party, y'all. The 10 tasting party on Thursday night was awesome. We brought a new member who I absolutely love, Mr. Norman White. I just love him. I'm going to have to get him on the call. Uh, and and that went well. But right after Thursday, we usually, my husband and I, we usually go to salsa dance. We, you know, we've taken up salsa dancing because he's trying to learn how to salsa dance for his uh, brother's wedding next year. Okay. So he's determined. And he, this is right, he's not really... He's not really good at dancing. That is definitely not his thing. He doesn't normally dance. So this has been a big thing. So every Thursday night, and usually during the week, we have um, lessons where we work on our salsa dancing. And because of all the craziness last week, we didn't do anything. Okay, we didn't get any salsa dancing, any practice. But yesterday, he came up with this great idea that we were going to practice salsa dancing. And... uh, you know, we hadn't done it for over a week. And, you know, when you get older, it seems like if you try to use a muscle you haven't used for a while that you used to use a lot just maybe a week ago, for some reason it just messes you up, right? I call it the old age twinge because every once in a while you'll have this, like, pain from maybe an injury you had when you were younger and all of a sudden it comes back. Well, we were salsa dancing, and then salsa dancing has these turns. My husband is six foot one. Those of y'all have met him, he's a lot taller than me. He's about a foot taller than me, okay? And he was so into the dancing, I guess, that at some point 
he lifted my arm up so high that my shoulder kind of moved out of place or something. I don't know. But it didn't feel real painful at first. But you know how them things just kind of sneak up on you? You know, you get those pain twins, and then it just starts getting bigger and bigger. Well, when I went to bed, because we were practicing pretty late. It was like 10 o'clock, okay? And when I went to bed, I didn't really think that much about it. And I woke up a couple times, but I didn't think that much about it. Then it wasn't bad. But when I got up this morning, you guys, honest, <laughs> I woke up and I got out of the bed, and I felt like my whole top side was just paralyzed. I mean, I mean, seriously, I thought I was having a stroke. I was, in, I was not moving, and I was in pain. And I kept thinking to myself, well, you know, am I having a stroke? But honestly, I, after a moment thinking about it, I said, oh, my gosh, that's that twins I felt last night. And it developed in full-blown shoulder pain, okay? I couldn't lift my arm, move it to the side, any of that kind of stuff. So, you know, I thought about it for a while. I said, okay, what am I going to do? Should I go to the doctor? Should I go to the therapist? And then, and then I remembered about my Super 10, okay, which is in my nightstand. So I grabbed my Super 10. And, you guys, I had not planned to do a testimony this morning. But let me just say, <laughs> what a blessing. I sprayed the Super 10. And not only did I get my full range of movement back within 60 seconds, y'all, it wasn't even a full minute, I could put my arm over my head. All the pain was gone. I, all I could feel was the, I could feel the tightness in the muscles in my arm. That's it, okay? You guys, I hung a clock in my office today over my head. Think about that. Every time I think about our sprays, all I can say is what a blessing. What a blessing. You know, I would have had to normally take an aspirin or take some kind of pain reliever or a muscle relaxer or whatever, just so I'd be able to make it through the morning to get to the doctor to get my arm looked at. But guess what, you guys? I haven't been to the doctor yet, and I'm, I don't know. I'm probably, I'm probably doing more harm than I need to because I am just acting like nothing happened. My arm is fine. I'm, I'm putting it over my head. I'm putting it to the side. And I'm thinking to myself, I cannot believe this. We take this spray for granted. We think, oh, this is great. It works so fast. This works well. I want you to think about this. I sprayed that spray, and within 60 seconds, it went through my body. It absorbed in my mouth, into my bloodstream, and went through my body and just wiped out inflammation. I mean, not in my mouth, not in, you know, I mean, obviously it did, but the inflammation in my shoulder, my arm, my side, everything, gone. Okay? That's my testimony for this morning, you guys. <laughs> I am, like, doing a happy dance because I have a spray, and it's natural, and I didn't have to wait for it to work. And I'm just so excited. But you know what I'm talking wow. about? That's super scary. Denise. That's super ten. It's yeah. ridiculous. That's all I can say. It's ridiculous. You know, Vicky, the super ten. When the super ten came out, remember that was one of the. Um, this, that that was in. Did that come at the same time all the rest of the sprays came out? Did they come out a little later? Or did we have that one? Well, remember that when we first started, we didn't have the super ten. I don't know why. What? But we probably had something else. Or maybe we didn't have them all yet. You know, the way we started out, everything was kind of pieced together anyway. So. Right, yeah. And I think the Super 10 was not getting that much attention is what it was because we were so overwhelmed with the vitamin D and what was happening with the vitamin D. And, of course, the Slim My 10 was really just running the race. The Slim My 10 was ahead of everything because everybody was praying to Slim My 10 and they were I'm going to be losing this weight and everything. And then, of course, this B boost, everyone was getting that natural energy. So, those sprays we're talking about the most. And then it's like, okay, we're treating the Super 10, but, you know, what do I say about the Super 10? What is the Super 10 doing? So, then as we begin to check it, I think what it was, we, went, we had it, we just weren't taking it like we were taking the other one. When we start taking that Super 10, we notice a difference. We notice there was something a little bit different going on in this body. I can't really particularly describe what it is. 
but there's something going on. I remember when I started taking it, because my doctor told me, because of the conditions I had been dealing with, scar tissues in my lungs and everything, that it left a lot of inflammation. So he said I had a lot of inflammation in my body. So I said, okay, so what do we do about it? He said, well, there's nothing we can do really good about it. You just have to watch it. I said, watch it? I don't want to watch it. Because they're supposed to go, oh, I watch it. I want to get rid of it. How do I get rid of it? I want to watch it. And so he couldn't give yeah. anything for it. So when I started taking the soup of 10, I started really feeling good and different and better in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in another way. And as I was going back for my physical and checkup, I would notice that he was saying, I don't have as much inflammation. And that's when it dawned on me that super 10, the super 10 helped me with inflammation because I'm going to tell you, and we're guilty of this. When we sit and we listen to the presentation, Vicki, we, we know sometimes, sometimes, all the time, it takes us a while to really hear what the sprays, the areas that the sprays help in. Now, Pastor Zell did this product presentation on that, so now, you know, you would hear what the, what the aloe, vera, aloe vera gel does. You would hear that. But for some reason, I didn't hear that it, it reduces inflammation. Even though I listened to the presentation and heard it, for some reason, I just didn't hear that part until I realized inflammation in my body was being reduced as a result of taking the Super 10. It's just like L.A. Anderson when he noticed that his vision was good. Many times he saw the, the uh, presentation, he never heard the part where it says that the people helps your vision problems. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's basically you know, what happened. And even if you do hear it, I mean, you know, I tell people all the time about the inflammation. And just like me, they look at me like, you know, they got, you know, they give me that, what I call the puppy dog look where they lean their head into the side. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And that's how I felt when they first told us about the spray. I mean, you guys, I was totally ignorant to health, natural health when we first started this. I had no idea what the 10 superfoods meant. I mean, it was like you show, you know, you, I knew what aloe vera was. I mean, I mean, I knew it had something to do with a plant that you used and I always related it to uh, sunburns and stuff like that. And I've heard of maki berry, goji berry, and then because of stuff I've seen in the grocery store. Okay. In the grocery store, you know, the, the little, uh, things that say they have maki berry, uh, and stuff like that. And I've also heard of tryptophan because everybody talks about tryptophan and how it relaxes you. And, you know, it's that cocktail and Thanksgiving that puts you to sleep because of the turkey plus the uh, macaroni and cheese. Both have that tryptophan enzyme. Okay. And then I didn't realize ionic minerals were something we didn't get in our diet. I mean, all that stuff combined together, I never suspected. I never suspected that it would cause pain relief. And I think that it caught most of us off guard because we didn't, most of us didn't have really bad pain, okay, until we met the people who have fibromyalgia and then they started telling us about how it was affecting them. And that's when we really started realizing the power of the spray. But you guys, I'm going to tell you, today I'm just standing on this chair, really. You know, it's kind of funny because I just, I'm just I'm just standing here because I'm standing. Well, it's a funny thing, but I'm putting books and stuff up in my office. But I'm putting I'm putting things over my head with an arm that I injured yesterday because of the spray. I just can't believe that. Now, you know, I didn't mean to talk about the testimony. I had planned to get on here and talk to you guys about you know some things that I've been wanting to talk about, and I probably now don't have enough time to go into it, so I may have to save this till next Tuesday. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about was personalities because, um, you know, this being a relationship-type business, we always have to deal with relationship issues and, and personality things. So we'll just, we will call them personality issues because, honestly, everybody has a different type of personality. Um, I'm very outgoing. You know, I'm, I'm what they call a blue personality. I'm... It means I never, never meet a stranger, and, and I have a lot of friends that are very introverted. In other words, they will not talk to you unless you talk to them. You know, Pastor Dale talks about this. He always says that uh, if he gets in an elevator, he's not going to start a conversation with somebody. And whereas, you know, Denise, you and I, and Denise Moore, if we get in the elevator with somebody, as soon as that door closes, and sometimes before the door closes, <laughs> we will start up a conversation with who's ever standing there. 
You know, sometimes they won't even want to have a conversation with us. But right. okay, you know, I, I'm the type of person that I will always speak to somebody because I, I, I was brought up in Kentucky. And I, well, I was actually brought up in the military, but it's another discussion. So I'm used to meeting people over and over again. And if somebody doesn't feel comfortable talking to me, I can usually tell, and I know you can too, and I will just slow down my role. I will stop talking or I will just kind of calm down, okay? But if they want to talk with me, it's on. We will be talking full speed until that elevator closes again, okay? I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So, and, and Denise, is, Denise Moore is worse than both of us, Denise. I mean, oh, my gosh. If you ever hung out with Denise, you would know what I'm talking about. You, you oh, will know yeah. what I'm talking about. She can oh, talk. Yeah. I mean, oh. But, you know, if you're an introverted person, if you're the type of person that cannot talk to people in a situation, then you have to find other ways of telling your story. And it's kind of cool that right now uh, in this, uh, I'll call it this social economic situation we have in the United States right now and across the world, everybody can talk to each other online. And, and it, it sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. And the reason I say sometimes it's good is because you get to meet a whole bunch of new people and you get to tell them stuff you normally would not tell them in the grocery line. But also on the other end of that, that's the same reason it's bad because people can talk to each other about stuff they don't normally talk to them about in person. And what I found out on Facebook and other social networks is people tend to say stuff without fear of retribution. So they say a lot of things that they shouldn't say, and you know what I'm talking about. But they also are more assertive. So I always tell people, especially people that are on the team, I'm not, you know, if you're introverted and you have a hard time finding, you know, a way to talk to people, then you need to go to a different path. You know, everybody can't take the same path. We all have different personalities. You know, if you're, if you're having a problem, you know, meeting people or reaching out to people, then you might consider some other things like online marketing or blogging. Blogging is really good for people who are introverted because, first of all, I've always believed that introverted people have a tendency to analyze, and that may be one of the reasons why it's sometimes harder for them to get started. You know, I have a friend who's very introverted, and I love her to death, and I've been trying to figure out a way for her to get her story out there. Now, you know, she could blog it because, first of all, she's a very good writer. She's very good at expressing herself, and when you speak to her, you know that. But if you don't speak to her, you'll never know that. So blogging is a way that people can get information out to the masses without having to actually speak to them. It's all a part of something called inbound marketing. When you start to tell somebody about a product without going toward them, they're coming towards you. And this is something I want to talk about. Uh, obviously, I only have three minutes left, but I would like to talk about this next Tuesday in depth and also talk about some of the other social networks out there because we always talk about Facebook and, you know, the, the ones that are known, Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, but there are so many social networks out there right now. And there are so many networks within your area. I mean, you have many opportunities to get your sprays in front of people and many opportunities to make new friends. But, you know, we've all, you know, kind of grown up with that feeling that we shouldn't talk to strangers and we shouldn't, you know, be assertive, except for, of course, me and you, Denise. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but we've grown up with this idea that we cannot, you know, we're, we need to mind our own business. That's what my father used to say, mind your own business. Right. Because, you know, you don't want to interrupt somebody's day. But here's the thing. You never know who that person is that may wake up like me this morning with that pain in their side. And, uh, you know, they may go through days of suffering before they can even see a doctor or somebody. So mm -hmm. you've got to have the opportunity to show your story in some way. So next Tuesday, I'm going to talk about inbound marketing. And I'm going to talk about social networking and stuff like that. And we're going to just kind of explore some ideas, not only for people who are introverted, but also people who are extroverted. I get a lot of business online, you guys. Uh, some people know that about me. I think Pastor Dell knows. But the reason why is because I have been a 
student of internet marketing since I found out what internet marketing was. And when I realized, you know, because, you know, as just like everybody else on the team, I had been doing marketing for a while, you know, I, I actually started marketing when I was 18, but that was all, you know, belly to belly, as they call it, belly to belly kind of thing. And belly to belly wow. is easy because the person's right there, they're a captive audience, you know, you do what you do, you show them what you have. But internet marketing, you have to think a whole different way. You've got to be able to captivate somebody's interest and attention in a short period of time, very short period of time, and then in some way entice them to try your product. So um, it, it's an interesting, it's an interesting field, and I'm going to talk about that more next Tuesday. But like I said, I had to tell you all that testimony because we take this, this phrase for granted sometimes. We know their power. We know they're a blessing, but every once in a while, it affects you in such a way that you have to tell everybody what happened, and that's a good thing. I mean, mm -hmm. I had to tell y'all that testimony, and uh, I'm out of well, time, so back to you, dear. That's, well, you know, you can't help but talk about the, the benefits of taking this phrase, and when you got a testimony, you just can't wait to share it. You want to. You want to wait for the right time, but it's so good, you can't hold on to it. As soon as you open your mouth, here it comes. <laughs> here it comes. <laughs> you know, but I'm also looking forward to that network marketing training, uh, online network marketing training, Vicki, because I know there's an art to doing that, and you are really an expert at really marketing on the Internet, and you get a lot of good customers. I mean, a lot of good, wonderful people that you connected with uh, through, uh, through the Internet. So, yeah, I look forward to you teaching us and coaching us on what your strategy is and what you're doing to make that work. Yeah. Well, you know, before I talk next Tuesday, I want everybody to look up inbound marketing and just kind of see what's out there. Just the word, Google it, inbound marketing. Just kind of see what it talks about. And, and then you'll have a better understanding of what I'm saying next Tuesday. So that's sort of like a little homework, I guess. Okay. Well, let's bring our business partner, Pastor Bill. I think you said it. We never bring them in, Vicki. Yes, you didn't do that. <laughs> he doesn't expect to do it. Oh, well, that's great. I mean, it was, it's always great to hear what Vicki, you know, what she's talking about. But uh, this amazing testimony uh, of something that just happened is, is always great. So uh, I'm going to look up inbound marketing, and I'm going to be ready for Tuesday. So uh, great job. Well, thank you, dear. I'm definitely looking forward to Tuesday. Well, what is today? Talk to people too. So let's go out to Atlanta, Georgia. One star, Dr. Kevin Vaughn. With our quote for today, Kevin Vaughn, we know that you're there. The one and only Vicky Soto! I love that name. I tell you, what a great name that's the need she has for radio, for television, for everything. I love it. Guys, what a great job today. How you guys doing? Everybody fired up today? Woo! Pastor Dale, back to you. Vicky Soto, I tell you guys are awesome, man. You guys are the best leaders, best friends, best business partners, best all kind of testimonies coming. That's a powerful testimony, Vicky. Wow, incredible, 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 incredible. So that's just wonderful. Thank you so much for all you do. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to everybody around the globe that's listening at this wonderful, wonderful uh, lifestyle call today. Guys, I am so excited on the positioning and timing that we're in. And just thank God for Mel and Amy Gill. And uh, I just tell you, Robert and, and Pastor Gill, uh, Brother Gill, uh, uh, I should say Daddy Gill, and everybody on the staff there at 10, I was just excited about what's happening. But it's just a great time to be alive, ain't it, guys? Just a great time to be yeah. alive. A lot going on around the world, but it's just great to be in a wonderful company and with wonderful friends uh, like you guys as well. Hey, real quickly, guys, I wanted to share with you a couple things. One, and then he kind of talked on this a little bit. Well, I want to talk about the word talk, okay, how you got to talk. You must talk, okay? Before I get to the quotes, you must talk. So I broke, broke down the word, the word talk. When you start talking to people, ladies and gentlemen, you must do this every day. Please talk to everybody. They'll let you know that they don't want to talk or listen to you. They'll let you know. So just talk to the next person. Please keep talking about your wonderful business, Okay. But when you talk, guys, guess what? Your 10 business just grows. It grows. It just grows. When you talk, your business grows, okay? That's one, one part of the talk. The other part of talk is when you talk, you advance your business, right? That's the A in talk. When you talk, 
you advance your business, guys. So you keep talking and talking. You never know who you meet, guys. Also, too, when you talk, you fall more in love. That's the L in talk. You fall more in love with this business each and every day, guys, when you talk up the 10 network, ladies and gentlemen. And the last word in talk is the word K. Guess what? The word K stands for keep. It keep you keep building your business, ladies and gentlemen. When you talk talk every day about your network, about your business, you will keep talking and keep building your wonderful, wonderful business, guys. So, guys, keep talking about this awesome network. What we got to do is be a walking billboard. You got to let people know this is brand new to the planet. Brand new to the planet. You got to let everybody know that Ten is brand new. And we are launching our business each and every day. Literally, we're still in uh, what I call grand opening mode. We're still all in the grand opening mode. We're still building our businesses each and every day. So it's brand new. So get that word out there, ladies and gentlemen, because nobody has heard about these sprays, the ones we have. Nobody has ever heard of the sprays. People don't like the pills. They don't like the shots. They don't like the uh, medications, guys. And we have a solution for that. So we're excited about that. Hey, let's get to the post real quickly, guys. But keep talking up your business, guys. Hey, the first quote of the day comes from Unknown. He says, the past is where you learn the lesson. The future is where you apply the lesson. Don't give up in the middle. Woo! Guys, you hear that one? Oh, man, don't give up, guys. Keep going. <laughs> keep learning. Keep learning. Keep learning. Do not give up. Some people give up about five seconds before the blessing comes. Don't do it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Hey, Nelson Mandela says, once a person is determined to help themselves, there is nothing that can stop them. Woo, what a great man that said that. Woo, you hear that, guys? Nobody can stop you. Only you can stop you. Isn't that amazing, man? Even the Almighty doesn't, uh, it doesn't stop you. He'll let you do what you want to do. It's called freedom, ladies and gentlemen. So it's all about what you want to do today. I want to encourage everybody to keep going, guys. Don't let nobody, let no, I don't care what they say, what they don't do, what they do do. Keep moving, guys. Hey, the last quote of the day comes from Pablo uh, Coho, who says, "Oh, this is powerful, guys. This is going you go you're gonna run out the room on this one. This, you're gonna run out the room on this one, guys. One day you will wake up, and there won't be any more time to do the things you always wanted to do. So do it now. Get to work, guys. Back to you, Pastor Miss Vicky and Pastor Dale. Woo! Man. Wow." Oh, Kevin. <laughs> oh, let me read that one again. Let me read it again. Let me read that one again because I got yeah. to so I got to share this one. Oh, guys, one day. Oh, I don't know when the day is. One day you'll wake up and there won't be any more time to do the things you always wanted to do. Do it. Now. Wow. 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 Right now, zero five seconds. What a great call, Vicky Soto. Yeah, yeah, Super 10 does it again, family. Super 10 yeah. does it again. Yeah. And guess yeah. what, Biggie? That just so happened to be Paul Jackson's favorite spray. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, family, it's been a great call. Uh, today is Tuesday. Don't forget to join us. That is called the stock at 9, 10 uh, a.m. Pacific, 12, 10 Eastern Standard Time. I get the same number. Enjoy Mr. T. Show me the money call tonight, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to hear more great stories, great testimonies, that one of its kind, dual call, double binary compensation plan, and get your, uh, your guests and your prospects on the line so they can be a part of this fast growing company, changing people's lives one spray, one drink, one video at a time. Be back with us tomorrow as we press towards the 15 million family coming into this industry, Team Effort Network, the health and wellness industry. Know that you are loved. You are appreciated. Get off this phone and get out there and make a difference in someone's life. God bless you all and have a prosperous day on purpose. Mwah.